What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. White criminal culture. Hmm. You know, people are talking about the knockout, knockout game. Attributing everything to black people. And then too many stories came out about people trying to use it for their own selfish purposes, right? There's one particular story in Katy, Texas, where a guy knocked out a elderly man, broke his jaw. And um, now it's a race crime because he was filming himself while he was doing it, right? Saying all kind of racist stuff. But here's what you don't know. A little bit after that, they had a pipe bomb threat at a high school in Katy, Texas. You see, now, irony would have it that, you see, if this would have happened in the same neighborhood, and the, and the kid was black, they would attribute it to, oh, look at the culture. But because it happened in a predominantly white suburb, the underbelly of this just goes unnoticed. Katy, Texas, from my understanding, is a nice suburb, multiracial, but predominantly white. Uh, they have a high b b breaking and entering crime rate, but since it's a predominantly white place, I think they have the highest crime rate of breaking and entering, breaking and entering. Yeah, okay, B and E, shit. <laughs> they ha I think they have the highest crime rate in Houston. Now, as a matter of fact, they do. They do. They have the highest. Breaking and entering crime rate in Houston, Texas. Because if you don't know, Katy is a suburb of Houston, Texas. It's really still in the county. It's just because it was white. They wanted to section off and call it something else. But here's the thing. That criminal culture is not put on. That would be the criminal culture that makes these kids walk around knocking people out. Okay, that would be the culture that, how can I put this? has pipe bombs going off, the pipe bomb things going off at school, and it's not televised. No, it, was, it was televised in Texas, but it wasn't televised in the world because it would have made sense. Think about it. If in Chicago this was to happen, the Chicago kids are playing a knockout game. Oh, there was a shooting at a Chicago school. Oh, there was a pipe bomb right at a Chicago school. You see how if it was in the same area, that shit would have lined up perfectly. It would have just kept rolling with that story. Now, fine. I'm moving on when I say, so I'm sitting at home and I'm watching TV, and the bling ring. They made a movie about this. These are some high school uh, miscreants in a nice white neighborhood around Calabasas. These were the people back in the day, if you remember, who robbed Paris Hilton while she was on vacation and robbed like Orlando Bloom and some other Lindsay Lohan. They just walked into their house, broke in, and, you know, stole millions of dollars worth of shit. They stole two million dollars worth of shit from Paris Hilton alone. Now, here's the part of what I'm getting at. These kids, a couple of them got jail time. But I didn't, and even when I read up on it, I didn't see any felonies. Now, imagine if a black kid stole $2 million worth of stuff from one location, a couple of black kids. That would get you 5 to 10 years, at least. You would come out with a felony, at least. One of these kids did that time or did not do time or did probation and moved to Texas and got a job. If that was a black kid who did that, for one, they wouldn't, no matter where they moved, they couldn't get a job because they would have been a felon for theft. And pardon me if I'm wrong on this, but a lot of times you can have a felony for a lot of things. But businesses won't hire a thief because of just the, the approximation that if you steal from these strangers, you'll steal from me. But this kid was able to get a job as a professional thief after 
and they were able to be put in a movie for their, their theft. They were glorified for their criminal behavior. This is why I, I, I made this particular vlog. Because, you see, when black kids do it, you're vilified. When white kids do it, we have to tone down the visceralness of this whole situation. Or, you can make a movie about it. It seems so cool. Part of this story was, and it wasn't all black kids, it was, it was I mean, white kids that did this. Was white kids, Asian kids, and Hispanic kids. The two original was a white gay dude and an Asian girl. Now, I got to get back to this. You talk about where are the black parents at. They were showing these kids partying at this Asian girl's house doing cocaine. Here's problem number one. Just like the young kids who suffer from affluenza. These parents are financing this criminal behavior. They know what's going on. You can't tell me if your kids are on cocaine, you know money is just... Is going out of your account like water. If they drinking booze, you know it's your fucking booze. Like you was the one. It's in your house. Like you know that 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 crime world about look show look uh, light. I I wasn't drinking. And the vodka. Hmm. Let me open this bottle. That's not that's not gin anymore. That's water. That's not tequila. Uh 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 uh. Something's up. These kids partying at my house. No. You don't say. But that's okay. Because they come from a nice family. And you can make this about race. You can make this about class. But the media coverage of it. lets you know. At the end of the day. There can be only one bad guy. And they can't look like those unassuming kids that break into people's houses and steal $2 million worth of shit and get a movie about it. Or they bring pipe bombs to school. Or they shoot up schools. Or they shoot up movie theaters. Or they shoot up little kids at, at kindergarten. Or, you get, uh, or, as a matter of fact, or weed has become a great recreational drug now because white people said, yay, we, we need this in our lives. Oh, do you really? Hmm. Are well, you going to release everybody who got caught for selling weed prior to this in the state of Colorado? Nah. Are you going to take that off their record since you made it legal? Nah. Are you going to expunge everything that happened with anybody with weed offenses? Nah. Well, you might, you know, depends on the color, right? That's all I'm saying. Peace.